These 30 metre high equine sculptures, which opened to the public in April 2014, have been given the title of the Kelpies. Kelpies were mythical sea creatures that took the form of a horse, although were said to be able to transform themselves into human form. Their location is just outside Falkirk, at an eastern extension to the Forth and Clyde Canal and just beside the busy M9 motorway. They are the largest public artworks in Scotland. Their creator was the sculptor Andy Scott, and he took as his inspiration the industrial heritage of the area, and especially the part played in that by haulage horses. The breed depicted is the Clydesdale, a big, strong animal which was used to pull ploughs on farms, carts on roads, and barges on canals. Mechanised transport has long since taken over their original duties, but some have been in semi-retirement in Glasgow's Pollock Country Park. Two of those, called Barn and Duke, were Andy Scott's inspiration for Heads Up Kelpie and Heads Down Kelpie, respectively. It is free to walk around the park and to view the sculptures from every angle, but to see the internal structure it is necessary to book a conducted tour and be escorted in by a guide. The internal skeleton is made of steel and is something of a work of art. As a link back to the live models, there is a horseshoe from Barn embedded in the floor. At night, the Kelpies are internally lit, and again perhaps barking back to the transformational powers of the mythical Kelpies, they can be bathed in regularly changing colours. The lighting is computer controlled, and almost any colour can be achieved, but red, blue, silver and gold are the key ones. There is an impressive range of statistics relating to them. They cost a total of £5 million to build. They comprise 928 stainless steel skin plates, of which no two are alike. Each statue weighs 300 metric tonnes, and while the above ground structures are impressive, they go down even deeper underground and each head has required 1,200 tonnes of steel-reinforced foundations. It required 150 lorry loads of materials for the build. There was the one fact that stumped the guide when he was taking around a school party. He was asked by a pupil with a statistical bent how many gaps there were in the plates and the answer to that is still awaited. 